Now, from WYDC-TV, this is Big Fox News at 10. Good evening. I'm Scott Beadle with Big Fox News. New York State Police are investigating the unexplained death of a two-year-old in the town of Van Etten. Troopers responded to a mobile home park around 4 a.m. yesterday for a report of an unresponsive child. Troopers say when they arrived, it was obvious that the toddler was deceased. An investigation is underway to determine the cause of death. And police say there is no threat to public safety at this time. A new report lists the names of hundreds of Boy Scout leaders accused of sexual assault. This list contains several former troop leaders from the Twin Tiers. The report alleges the Boy Scouts of America have been filing these names in what they called the perversion files since the 1920s. The organization only released them to the public when they were ordered by the courts. One of the scout leaders listed, Daryl Vanida, was convicted on 14 counts of sexual exploitation and transporting minors across state lines for sexual activity back in 2013. He was also convicted of producing child pornography, the children he met at a church in Horseheads, and is now serving life in prison. Today, the American Red Cross held their Sound the Alarm kickoff at the Harbor Hotel in Watkins Glen. Every day, seven people die in home fires around the nation. Most of those deaths occur in homes that don't have smoke detectors. The Sound the Alarm campaign aims to reduce fatal fires by installing free smoke alarms in homes. This year, the campaign will install 100,000 smoke alarms, including 250 in this area. In 2019, this is our second annual uh, event nationwide where we're targeting over 100,000 alarms nationwide to make a home safer from our most common disaster, which is single and multifamily house fires. Here in our area, our six county area, we're targeting to do 250 alarms uh, with over 130 homes made safer through evacuation preparedness and fire prevention education. And we're going to kick that off on May 11th. The teams will roll out of St. Mary's of the lake here in Watkins Glen and really concentrate on Schuyler County and the residents in and around that county to, uh, to help them prepare for and save lives from home fires. Uh, last year we focused on our, our two busiest counties which were Shemong and also in Wayne County. This year, uh, based on last year's statistics, we saw that even though uh, Schuyler County may not have the volume of home fires, they did have two fatalities. And so very quickly, it looks like there's a one in five chance based on last year's numbers in Schuyler County to perish in a home fire. The fire alarms being installed during the Sound the Alarm campaign have a 10-year sealed non-removable battery. These are the type of smoke alarms that became mandatory under a New York state law, which went into effect on April 1st. We saw some cooler conditions today, and now we're looking ahead to our next rain chances. Meteorologist Kim Walker has your Big Fox forecast next. Here's your local stock market update from Big Fox. Now, your Twin Tiers forecast from Big Fox. Well, we saw plenty of sunshine today. Temperatures not too bad out there, but we are going to see it drop as we make our way into the overnight. So it's going to be a cold start to the day tomorrow. Increasing clouds with another storm system that will be coming in in the latter part of your Thursday. And then we could have a few showers in the evening. More rain chances on Friday, and those temperatures will be turning cooler again. Over the weekend, we do have rain chances with another system that will be riding in. So it looks like it's going to be a wet weekend. But for tomorrow, we are going to enjoy sunshine as we start off the day. Showers will start to come in and we could see a little bit more widespread rain on a Thursday night into your Friday, but I think the best chances of rain will come on Friday. It's going to be a cold start to the day tomorrow though with temperature readings around 34 degrees as we start off the day tomorrow. 35 in Corning, 38 in Watkins Glen, 35 in Bath. Winds will be light coming in from the west southwest at around 5 to 10 miles per hour and with that southerly component, temperatures will be warming up tomorrow, so we're looking 
looking at highs around 67 degrees in Elmira, so pleasant conditions, 70 in Watkins Glen, 69 in Bath, and also in Corning. We are going to see some sunshine. However, those clouds will start to increase in the afternoon ahead of another storm system. So there could be a few showers in the evening hours, and then there could be a few thunderstorms on Friday. And because of the rain and the cloud cover, temperatures will cool down. 59 degrees for the high on a Friday, and then we start to get a little bit cooler this weekend. Overnight lows will be down into the 30s. We do have chances of rain on your Sunday, and then drying out as we head into work, the work week again with highs in the 50s. Scott? All right, thanks, Kim. Some good news for dog lovers. Your pup can be an official part of your bridal party. Check this out. The Etsy shop, the Posh Paws Company, is selling bridesmaids' dresses for dogs. Satin gowns are handmade and come in 12 different colors. They run 80 to 150 bucks. Thanks for watching. Have a great night.